Genoa's, uh, yeah. Genoa's solo piece, My Uruguay. Um, is that, that, that is also a premiere, yeah? Yeah, new, yeah. new work. Yeah. Uh, she's working with Rachel Mazarum, amongst others, uh, to do a one-person show, which is about her life. Again, I don't know much about the show, except I know it's her, it's her life, and putting her body on stage to perform it. Um, this is a wonderful thing as a festival director. You go, okay, what's my appetite for risk? Mm -hmm. You know, and what's the audience's appetite for risk? And sometimes you just go, let's just jump into it and see what see what comes of it. Yeah. Um, and this is a work where I trust the artist well enough. I trust the all the artists involved, but I also think she's got something to say, and mm -hmm. I want to hear what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going on at Belvoir Street downstairs, so a relatively intimate performance space, about 100 and, let's call it 120. If, even if, yeah. If that, yeah, yeah. and uh, so in a little L shape around. So it should be quite exposed and quite close and the audience will feel part of what that story is. Part of me goes, you know, um, Indigenous Australia, we are looking for opportunities for intimate conversations of knowledge exchange. Mm. That often we're, well, well look, I'll, I, if you meet a, a non-Indigenous person, the chances of them having a one-on-one -on -one conversation lasting more than five minutes with an Aboriginal person or a Torres Strait Islander person is quite slim. Mm. And so the theatre is one of those amazing experiences where you can share a story in an yeah, intimate manner really and scary. you can get insight into the complexities of the issue. When you read it in a newspaper or, or online or whatever, you often are getting already mediated experiences from commentators, mm. whereas if you are in the theatre and it's written, directed, performed by any one of those kind of scenarios uh, in Indigenous folk, you are getting a much stronger story that I think changes your, your heart, your heart shifts a bit. Well, there's an enormous body of work in that genre, right, from Box mm. the Pony and yeah, yeah. Um, 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 her name is uh, Ningley. Ningley Lawford, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there's been so very Deborah many. Cheatham, Deb with yeah. the White Baptist Abba fan, <laughs> if you remember that one, that and was amazing, yeah. Your, your, yours and Deborah's show? Yeah, yeah, Seven Stages yeah, of yeah. Grieving, yeah. yeah. There's a very, a very big a, a tradition in that work that mm. I guess this one will step into. Well, even if you think about Jack Davis's work, I mean, often, um, or even Stolen, which mm. was looking at Stolen Generations, Often writers uh, are looking for vehicles to tell very personal stories. Mm. And so we are attracted to uh, autobiographical stories because of that, um, or, or stories that are biographical perhaps, not just autobiographical. And so we wanting to tell the truth. We want to write onto the public record a version of our history as an extension of the kind of oral traditions. Mm. Whereas, mm. you know, the written, written histories are often you know, well, they're contested because yeah. they're often white anthropologists or white, white history makers. Mm. And that theatre has become in the last, let's call it 40, 50 years, our place of truth telling, our place of history telling. Mm. And I think uh, Indigenous artists have really picked that up as Genoa has done as well. And she's, a, uh, she's got a fairly intriguing kind of practice, I guess, as a, as a dancer mm. herself and a hip hop Kind yeah, of, yeah, that's everything. And a stand-up comic. Yeah. And <laughs> but I think that uh, 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 most Indigenous artists, there's a sense of saying, I, I'm fitting myself into a cultural perspective of the work. I, I don't, um, okay, look, you might train as a dancer, mm. but in fact, the, the painting is just as important as the dance or mm. the storytelling is just as important as that. So as Indigenous artists, we, they're often, you know, several strings to your bow, you're finding out, and we diversify very quickly in mm. our practice because um, there are fewer opportunities for Indigenous artists. Well, let's say at least 10, 15 years ago there were. Mm. And so you don't specialise very quickly. Mm. You leave yourself open to as many experiences as you can. Mm. And that's led us into amazing thing. Well, you talk about Leah Purcell with Box the Pony, mm. but you think of her as a filmmaker, you think of her as a writer, yeah. you think of her as a singer, as a kind of storyteller, as an actor, director. This kind of multi-portfolio career is not unusual. And, and yourself. Yeah. <laughs> My dancing career. <laughs> oh, I've heard great stories. Oh, great stories. <laughs> Fantastic stories.